In this video, I'm going to take a four to one mux and connect it to a two to four D mux. And so then with them combined, I'm going to have a situation in which I can have four possible sources and I will pick one. And then I will have uh, also four possible destinations and pick one of them. So here is my uh, mux that I've already built. It, the A and the B are used to choose an address that address there are four possible combinations 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1, 0, 1, 2, and 3. And then that corresponds to uh, one of these data switches getting through. So a quick demo right now, it's at address uh, low, low, which is 0. So the key 0 is the one that gets through. If I change it to, say, uh, B high, then it is one that gets through. That is what the multiplexer does. Let's stop that simulation. Let's look at the D multiplexer. And the D multiplexer, again, we have A and B, which we can choose an address, but this time it's a destination address. And so, and then that is deciding where this one piece of data is getting through to. So here is the DMUX. So right now I'm choosing low, low. And so my data should be getting through to this uh, zero destination, this zero addressed destination. So there is it going to zero. And again, if B is a one, now it should go to one. Okay, and again, they're labeled starting from zero, zero, one, two, three. About that, and now let's bring them together. So I'm going to make a new file. I mean, this file is going to be uh, fairly wide. So I'm right-clicking in the white in the space, in just the empty space and going to the properties of the workspace. And I'm going to make it uh, quite wide, wide. I'll make it 20 wide. Okay, so let me come here. I'm going to grab my multiplexer. And a little bit, okay, there's my multiplexer. I'm going to grab my D multiplexer. Put that over here. Okay, now what do I want to do? I want I don't want them addressed in the same way A and B, so I'm just going to change this to a CD. So change this to acting on a C and this one to acting on a D. Okay, and I'm not going to uh, control the input to the D multiplexer by a switch, but I'm going to have it be the output. So I'm going to get rid of this switch. I'm going to have it be the output of this. So now I'm going to uh, keep this probe. For the sake of seeing it as it goes across this shared channel. But I'm going to add a junction here. I hit place junction and then I'm going to continue on and have this be the in the data input for my demultiplexer. So I'm going to have to zoom out a little bit. You zoom out. So that I can see all of this on one screen. Okay. So now I have my multiplexer where I get to pick a source and then that source will put its data onto this. I'm now calling this the shared channel and then that is the data input and CD will be the way I'm going to pick which destination. So let me turn it on for now and right now it is A and B are high so I'm choosing key three so if I hit the three, I'm getting changing the data. And then over here, C and D are also both ones. And so it is the destination for the data is the output three. Okay, so let's say I wanted a different output. Let me make a C low. So now it I'm going to output one or I want D 
C high and D low, I'm going to uh, position two here. So this is a zero. They're, I didn't relabel them very carefully, but this should be zero, one, two, three. So this is the output with address two. And I can pick over here, say with A and B. Now I'm at address zero. So it's address zero that gets through. So again, so with with the address in the multiplexer, I'm pick, picking, let me put them all down. And now let me, I'm picking zero. So let me put zero up and I'm getting zero has the effect and is getting through. One does nothing, two does nothing, three does nothing because it's zero that's chosen. And then over here, where does that data that is zero get through to? I am choosing right now uh, destination two. I could make destination zero, low, low. I could make a low high, which is destination one. I can make high, low, which is destination two. And I can make high, high, which is destination three. Okay, that's what I wanted to show you. The multiplexer, picking using addresses to pick uh, a source and a demultiplexer using the address to pick a destination. And they're sort of combined effect. Thanks for your attention.